All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vion Art Desam. Donald Trump is no stranger to touting unproven theories. The first he had hailed hydroxychloroquine as a possible mi miracle drug to treat the COVID-19 infection. And on Thursday, he also proposed another very bizarre cure. He spoke of injecting disinfectants into humans, such as bleach, as a possible treatment for the COVID-19 infection. And there was, of course, the expected backlash. And the president has now walked back on his talk. Donald Trump has now said that what he said was actually a sarcastic jibe at the reporters. Listen in to the clarification by the American president. Now, I was going to ask you the question sarcastically to reporters like you, just to see what would happen. Now, disinfectant for doing this, maybe on the hands, would work. And I was asking the question of the gentleman who was there yesterday, Bill, because when they say that something will last three or four hours or six hours, but if the sun is out or if they use disinfectant, it goes away in less than a minute. Did you hear about this yesterday? But I was asking a sarcastic and a very sarcastic question to the reporters in the room about disinfectant on the inside. But it does kill it, and it would kill it on the hands, and that would make things much better. That was done in the form of a sarcastic question to the reporters. Now, the coronavirus task a briefing on Thursday. Donald Trump wondered if disinfectants can be injected into people as a potential cure. So how did he come up with this suggestion? Well, a new research by U.S. scientists shows that bleach kills the virus on normal surfaces, even if they were to be embedded in body fluids. But experts have called the idea of injecting bleach into humans, and they've put it rather mildly, as just bizarre and dangerous. But here's the catch. This paper that the White House officials are quoting has not been released even. And this, of course, makes it extremely difficult for independent experts to verify this particular research. Since his comments, Trump has received a lot of backlash for peddling unproven theories instead of going by scientific facts. The House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has also slammed Donald Trump, saying that he's not listening no to his medical experts. No one is above the law. I mentioned the president and his, uh, let's say, we can kill the virus by injecting disinfectants like Lysol into the body. Clearly and sadly, the president is not listening to medical experts, and I don't know which ones he is listening to, if any. Now, even the company that makes Lysol and Detol has urged customers to not consume its cleaning products. The British company Reckitt Benkiser has warned people that consumption of disinfectant products could be highly dangerous.